What's going on guys? We're back. Today's Tuesday and it's been a couple days since we've caught these swarms and I need to start getting them over to where I can let them out. Right now they're still locked up where they can't get out. I can hear them in there just buzzing away. They're making all kinds of noise. So we're going to load these things up and get them over to a temporary location. Let them sit for a few days. You kind of want to let them sit in a different location. That way, just in case when the bees swarmed initially, they might have already found a home somewhere. And if you keep them here at the same location, then when you release them to start doing their work, they might take the initiative to just fly off to the original home spot that they, they had picked out. Now, I got it, had, like I said, I've had them locked up now for about two days, which is, I feel is a pretty good amount of time to, to lock them up. That's, you really don't want to go much longer than that. I've been feeding them sugar syrup and some uh, medications to get all nice and healthy. But my daughter's horse in the background. <laughs> we will get these things buttoned up here in a second and I will check on the syrup, make sure it's not too over full. That way when I go move them, it doesn't slosh out everywhere and make a mess. I mean, they'll, they'll clean it up on the inside, but still on the outside. You still got to mess with it, so you don't want to get yourself all sticky more than you have to. So, we'll get this thing all set up and ready to go. Alright, here we are at the hives. They, uh, we're getting ready to move them. There's really only a few things you're really going to need to move uh, hives. A ratchet strap really helps out because you can strap around the box and lock that down so when you're moving it nothing shifts and the bees fall out fly away so get yourself a ratchet strap and this hive here I said in the last video uh, is a new hive to me it's a Appy May hive and it's a plastic hive. I really am liking it. It's got, if you can see it right here, there's latches right here. And they just unbuckle. And this thing snaps together and takes the ratchet and strap out of this style of hive. Now, I came out last night and fed these bees and got them all nice and fed. And so I want to check to make sure the feeders in these aren't overly full so when I move they don't make a big mess. So you still might need your hive bar, hive tool. And you might need your brush. So we'll go ahead. I'll put my gloves on just in case there's some inside this hive feeder. Most normally, this style of feeder doesn't get any bees from inside the, uh, the actual hive itself. If you get bees inside here, they're, they're coming up through a hole in your top board and your cover. Now I'll just take off my weight. 
Well, let's take this off here. Nothing on that. I had this thing propped up a little bit to give a little more ventilation the last couple days because there's not a whole lot of ventilation in this right now. And yesterday, when I got in here, there were some dead bees down inside the, the syrup uh, solution because in the middle of your top board, in her cover, there's a hole right here, and I had some boards on top of it to give it a little extra ventilation. And being as I did that, then the outside bees were capable of getting into this syrup, and being as this isn't set up to feed from the syrup side, only from the inside, like I showed you before. All right. See, there's a couple bees trying to get in there right now. There's a hive beetle. Get rid of that thing. If you can see, I don't know if you can see very good or not, that they are just jam-packed in there trying to get that syrup solution out of there. Now, see, here's the problem there. You see the bees land on it, thinking they're going to get some syrup so they can't get out of it go away. don't land back on it this one had a little bit of solution in it but i don't think i'm really going to worry too much about it i'm just going to go ahead and put my inner cover back on i'm not going to put the ventilating sticks in there this time I'm just going to put that right there. And they've already got this feeder already propolized down to the brood box. Now eventually I will get me another brood box and I'll take all these frames out and I'll put them in that brood box. That way I can keep hold of this uh, swarm trap to catch another swarm later on. Now, like I said, piece of wire screens, what how I covered up that hole. I'm, I didn't say that a second ago, so I'll stick that back in there just in case. Alright, I will take my ratchet strap. Get straightened out a little bit. Get it up underneath here. I got this sitting on a block, so I need to get up underneath that block or up over the top of it. strap straightened out here She's tightened up pretty good. Now, that one won't go anywhere. I can lift it up, take care of it, and it'll be just fine. And like I said, this one here, is already strapped down with them clips, but I still want to check those 
feeders, see how they're doing. See, and this one's, you pull it off, and you have two top feeders up here. And I'll go over this hive later on in a, in a later video. I want to go over a couple of styles of feeders and things that you can do. And they've already ate this syrup down to where there's only about a quarter inch of syrup in that one. And same in that one over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock this back down. And we'll just load these up in the back of the truck and move them to another spot. There's one hive. Now, let's go get the other one. All right, here we are. I've got them all loaded up here, back of the truck. And this would be a good time. Like I said, I'm really liking this hive because of some of the features it has. I know there's some wooden boxes that have some of these features, but this one here has a trap down here. Now, we can go ahead and pull this out and kind of see what's going on down here. There's a high beetle, there's a high beetle. They're just, just like what they sound, they're just a little black beetle. We'll just go ahead and take care of them while we're at it. And we'll look down here. And we're looking for any mites. And see all this right here? They're, all the brown is that old comb that I put in there. They're cleaning it. And trying to get it in shape for them and probably if we was to get into it right now there would probably be some some uh, eggs laid in the bottom of it but this looks pretty good see this right here try to get it that right there focus that is a piece of pollen and that's what the, the bees go out and collect, and they bring it back. And I'll set it right back there for now. So those that pollen is pretty good to eat. It's kind of like an acquired taste. Sometimes you have to get used to it, but I kind of like it. But we'll go ahead and get this stuff loaded up. I gotta throw me a couple blocks and a couple of boards in real quick. I'll go inside and get my sugar syrup and we'll go over and we'll try to get them set up and get them in a new home for a little while. I will be back here shortly.
right, we made it. The sun's starting to set in the background, so we're going to try to make this as quick as possible. Get these girls out of here. I'll kind of show you what we got going, where we're going to set up, and how you go about setting the base up for these hives. So let me get this stuff out, and I will come back pretty right. short. Here we are. I got things. I picked a spot here by a fence row. Yeah, it's by a road. I don't really approve a whole lot about having it right next to the road. But this is just a temporary location. And all you really need for a base is just a couple blocks and a couple of boards to set the hives on. There's not really not much to it. You want them to kind of be somewhat level. So, all right, we got these set up. So let's go ahead and get these sun set in the background. <laughs> all right, we'll get these girls out of the truck. We've got them sitting back here in the truck. Flowers haven't really started real heavy in this field yet, but there's a few out there that that's starting in. So let me get these girls out of the truck. All right. Now I got a ratchet strap here on top for transporting. Keep them from sliding around the truck. We'll get that one off. Get it over here out of the way. Now we'll just get these things out and go get them set up. One. I'm telling you, this this hide here it is super good. I really like it. It's light, ready to go. That one there's a little unlevel, so I'll get something underneath here, kind of get that leveled out real quick. Now it's set up, we'll go ahead and take this strap off here. Alright, damn that much is out of the way. Alright, these girls are set to go now. We need to get into them and get some feet in there for them. I lost a little bit in this one on the way over so we need to top it off so I went ahead and put my suit on never know how they react after a move like that so we'll just go ahead and get suited up all right Kind of pull this off and yeah, they're doing pretty good. Could be better. All right, let me get this one kind of squared away and we'll come back to it. Alrighty, now I'll get into this one here, try to get them wear it away. Alright, I'm going to open those doors up so they can come in and out. Move this one over here. I guess it's a divider board that you can separate the two sides. I had it down until they kind of 
got in there. But I'm gonna go ahead. Some had gotten over there anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that out. And put some more frames in there. Brush these out of there. Come on. They're a little agitated. So, I'll hurry and get these out of there. And get that lid on for a little while. Let them set for a second. Let them get settled in. Then after they get settled in, I'll feed them. All right, well, for now, sun's going down. I'm losing light. I'm gonna give these girls a little while to get all settled in, not be so agitated. I'll get them fed and then we'll see how they do. This hive over here, my white hive here, remember I said that we need to make sure they didn't get a whole lot of syrup left in there. I didn't think there was a whole lot in there, but evidently there was a little more than I seen, and a lot of it splashed out and got over a bunch of bees in there and they're in there trying to get cleaned up and all that I have a feeling I'm gonna lose some of those in that box which is no big deal the Queen's in there I seen her she'll make more to replace well I just hope they all take off and survive we'll see you guys next time if you happen to like this Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.